Hi. First of all, I would like to say a big, big thank you to everyone who decided some of my previous videos are worth watching because early this year I've passed the magic barrier of 100 subscribers and it makes me really, really happy, meaning the videos themselves are not entirely pointless, which is a good thing. Second of all, we are now in my new place, in my new office or lab, if you like, where some of the upcoming videos will be made. However, the, today's video, the one that you're going to watch, hopefully, is sort of a glue up between the two stages of my life, which is living in the UK and now living back in Poland. So, it's more of a memorial for me than anything, but I still hope you're gonna enjoy it. So, um, yeah, here comes the video. This video covers the process of preparing my van for a big house move. I actually moved by the end of 2020, but only recently finally organized some time to get back into making videos. The car in title is a pretty common but also a rather fun cargo van, the Volkswagen Transporter T5, with the long wheelbase. A very popular model, here in Europe at least. One of the reasons behind the decision to move can be seen on your screen now. No proper place to work and a lot of rain, not exactly the best conditions for the type of projects you could have seen on this channel by far. Besides, as good as the UK was for me, I couldn't see myself living here forever. There's more to the story, but let's leave it perhaps for another day. And because subconsciously I knew I won't stay here for long, it stopped me from organizing a proper space for my indoor experiments as well. I guess one should sort out the basic life first, so the hobbies can then grow peacefully. Anyway, this video is not exactly a tutorial of any sort. By the way, pardon the pile of crap in the loading bay. I made the recording mostly to persist a somewhat big event in my life, which is moving out to another country and taking all of our belongings with us in a single take. I'm going to watch this video one day and hopefully won't find myself regretting the decision. The first little job the car required was replacing a light bulb. A bulb in this case is a bit of an overstatement, as what's actually being used as the side light in this car were two LEDs mounted on a piece of PCB. I checked the polarity and whether the light can be expected to work, then the freshly ordered replacement parts are fitted into the socket. I then proceeded to replace the older one as well, even though it seemed ok, just so they both match. A quick test to verify the work done, and it seems alright. The next thing to take care of was this broken plastic grill. Definitely not a biggie, but I already received a brand new replacement part from the previous owner and it would be silly not to make use of that. When moving houses in a single take, every inch of luggage space matters 
so I got rid of any extra parts, including the set of winter tires for this bad boy. The grill itself is an easy job, fitted using some plastic hooks right beneath the bonnet. There were two more important jobs done here, namely the rear brakes were stuck and needed a cleanup and the roof box for extra storage had been mounted. I unfortunately lost some of the footage when I smashed the screen on my old phone. I managed to save the process of installing some roof bars onto the car though. Again, not a rocket science if you get a dedicated set of bars. Just need to tighten them up with the correct amount of force so the bars do not bend. Finally, an illusion of security is added on the top in the form of a plastic cap with locks. In the end, I moved them closer together to fit my particular roof box. Let's finish this video with some shots from the big move. There aren't many of them though, as I was way too busy organizing the move and emptying our house. Some next videos will be happening in my new place and I plan on revealing some of the ideas I've got for this channel. Until then, stay tuned!